Good day, this is Ralph coming to you from the Netherlands. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, the Casewise Corporate Modeler. We're going to have a look at the two modules you use the, you will use the most, and have a look at some of the diagrams. So let's start up the application. We are running Casewise uh, through a Citrix environment. So that means we're going to start it through the browser. Enter your Windows credentials. Set it up. So this is my entire Citrix environment. And uh, whenever you have a, uh, when you're added to the Casewise Citrix group, you will find your icon over here. So this is the case wise icon, let's start it up. And here we are, here we are at the uh, starting screen of the case wise corporate modeler suite. This screen shows you, you the different modules that are present. Um, when you're a designer or an architect, you will most probably uh, will just use the corporate modeler and the object explorer. For me as an uh, administrator, I'm, I use the model explorer for uh, creating new users and all that. Well, let's uh, first have a look at the object explorer. And here we are at the uh, object explorer screen well what do we see uh, at the upper hand side of the screen we see a kind of a ribbon with various functions in it and on the left hand side we see the different models that are present in the entire case wise library um, I have quite a lot of models uh, you will find uh, maybe two or three models in your environment and it is the uh, Zigo application architecture model over here that's our production uh, environment and you most probably will have the sandbox for all your practicing and uh, just getting uh, the hang of it so uh, okay so those those are the various models uh, you you have to look at it um, this way that every model is uh, an environment uh, which contains diagrams and uh, all the objects that you would like to have in your repository so here you see the total list of object types we hold in our library um, well the most um, common are the applications and we've got application modules and we've got application functions and whenever I click here on the left hand side uh, for instance on applications in the objects pane over here we will see all the application applications that are to be found in this model so these are quite a lot of uh, applications and uh, that's where the functionality of uh, the Explorer uh, comes in. Whenever I want to find a certain application, I type in the name, Expert Desk, for instance, and the screen returns the various hits on this name. This filter uh, pane or this filter option you can enable and disable with this button over here with the um, Uh, looking glass in it so I can toggle it on or off so this helps me find certain objects in the entire model uh, so um, well okay I was looking for the expert desk application and here I see all the uh, expert desk hits uh, when I select it it will load the information for this uh, application and if I want to if I would uh, want to change the properties, I make a right click and choose edit. 
and there I can see all those uh, information fields uh, that can hold all the information relevant to the uh, object type of application. It's always a good idea to fill the, of course, uh, to fill the information fields. Tell something about the application. What is it? What's the vendor? Uh, well, this is blank, but it's a uh, it's a good idea to to fill in the um, uh, all the fields. At this tab status, you see the owner, and you can see whether uh, this object is frozen or unfrozen. Frozen means that uh, you, uh, anybody else than the owner can uh, can't uh, edit the object. Okay, let's return. Um, here we see the associations. We're going to talk about associations uh, in a in a different video. Let's have a quick look at the various diagrams. So select diagrams over here, and then you see all the diagrams in this model. Again, if I oh. again if I would be uh, interested in the expert desk application and uh, the diagrams on which that application is modeled, I could look for it. Expert desk. And here I'll find a level one expert desk integration overview. Select it. Right click, open diagram. And now the funny thing is that uh, by opening the diagram, we automatically open the corporate modular uh, model module where we can have a look at the diagram. As we can see, uh, this diagram is read only. So the only owner has frozen the diagram at a freeze level one. Uh, or somebody else is uh, diagramming uh, or editing uh, the diagram as we speak. Okay, so here you can see the canvas with the shapes on it and on the left hand side you see the various shapes that are available in this template. We're going to talk about templates later on. Okay, just click the shapes and uh, you see a presentation of the various uh, properties. Whenever you see a uh, tabular thing you can, uh, you can make an explode view. So let me zoom in on this. I select Kramer, I press F6 to zoom in. If I would press F4, I would zoom out, but F F6 zooms in. I just choose, uh, click on the, on well, how can I call it, a tab or a matrix or something. And it's going to open the explode view, which leads you to an entire uh, different uh, different uh, diagram. So this was the, we're going to talk about levels later on, but this was the level one overview and I made an explode and I dropped in at the level two Kramer. So this is a uh, detail level lower. Okay, this was a very quick uh, insight in the uh, use of the object explorer and the corporate modeler. Uh, we're gonna look at things like associations and all that uh, in the next few videos. Thank you very much. Talk to you later. Bye bye.